All right, guys. Corey is on his way. We are going to get his bow all set up. Oh, there's my kitten. It finally came back. Kitten's been hiding. I don't know if y'all have made cheese toast yet. I'll show you later. All right, so guys, I have been working through a lot of problems, and uh, so I didn't shoot this weekend. I haven't felt comfortable. It's not the bow's fault, of course. It was, it was mine. So, setting up Corey's bow yesterday, I finally, well, I realized that I had looked at the draw chart wrong. I've always been 29 and a half, 30 inches on PSC. So I got to looking at mine, and I noticed that like I've been hammering the trigger. I just haven't felt comfortable. It's like I just couldn't wait to get the shot off. And uh, it turns out I had both of my damn bows set at 29 inches. So right now I'm at 29 and a half. And uh, let's just take a peek here. I feel so much better. So, right now, I feel way better, and I can now apply pressure to the trigger, and set that shot off. Damn, that would have been my whole problem. Also, I took the clarifier out of here, I'm selling those hand, that full set of Hamsky peeps. Um, this bow is going to be unmagnified because I'm going to put a short stabilizer bar on it and shoot this thing some bow hunter classes. I'm going to hump this bow 60 pound. You ain't going to have it down 70 pound. Everybody thinks you're going to have a 70 pound bow. You don't have to have a 70 pound bow. 60 pound, this thing will be just fine. It's fast enough. So, Corey will be here shortly and we're going to do some shooting. So, we'll see you. God, yeah. So Corey is now smoking, and so am I. Um, kind of. That ain't enough. <laughs> We're smoking the targets. All right, so Corey, let's give a rundown on what we've both done here. You give a rundown on what yours is now. We're essentially shooting yeah. the exact same bow. Set, well, this is a three. Yeah, mine's longer at the axle, so I've got the. Uh, the five, he's got the three. We're both shooting the same sight. He's left handed, I'm right. He's shooting a conquest bar. I'm shooting, uh, what is that noise? That's my other kid. Oh, I thought it was a cat getting attacked. Hey. My bad. I was like, what was that? I thought, I thought a darn hawk. I seen a hawk out here somewhere earlier. Oh, yeah, you smoking now. But that is now we need to, now we need to, you need, need to be able to punch multiple. Yeah. Okay. But, my bears only got five, there's still one in the woods. But yours oh, is yeah, let me one down. and this is all black. That's true. Okay, I'm going to walk this. Bro, I am, huh? Yeah, I would go down just to take. So, I took my lens out. I put a small peep side in there. The Hamsky peep setup is for sale. I'm, I'm done with the magnification on this bow. I'm not doing it. I want to be able to hunt with this thing. I want to be able to do... The bow hunter. I'll be able to shoot bow hunter Can class now. Me? Yeah. No. Uh, we will. Yeah, I, I, I can't even see you. <laughs> little fella on TV. You. Let me pop one more little one. Go get yours. Right there. No. Yeah. Bro, I, I, since I fixed my draw length, I'm not punching the trigger anymore. Let's see if it'll stack together. Hold each other up. We both need to invest in some kick things. You no, you're good. Alright, so let's see what we got. We're out here getting our 20s back set. Uh, I feel like I can shoot better without that stupid um, lens in it. Look! That's three inside out. Yeah. So now we're going to get yours like that. Yep. Which is good. These targets yeah, are. Not... Oh, Corey did. This is just a testament to those victory errors. He shot completely through a two by four, but I'm gonna have to figure out how to get this thing out. Hopefully it just didn't sink in there permanently. Uh. 
unless we can push it through the front way and I can just refletch it for you. You know what I'm saying? If we can push it through, just be careful because the carbon will get you. Oh, okay. Take your knife, shave them fletchings off. I'll trade you out now. Well, well I'm gonna make sure it's good. Bro, look at that. <laughs> that is a victory for you, baby. These things are awesome. I shot through limbs at tack with those. Should I just trim them off? Yeah, yeah, just cut them. Just cut them out. You're going to cut yourself, bro. Oh, God. Tough. Yeah, man, that's that's tack veins and tack glue. You won't, you won't, you won't knock them veins off. I, I'll take pride in... Um, this is hard. Oh, this yeah. Hard. I'll take pride in fletching them tack veins. I make a full day out of it. Like, I'll only fletch about three or four at a time, and I just do it right. Slow, make it right. I get tired of having fletch errors. It makes me so mad. Bro, ain't no way. <laughs> that is so funny. Go we'll inspect that air. It should still be good. Just pull the piss out of it. It's got to go through all that vein material. That is funny. Here, I'll pull on it. Holy crap. Yeah. <laughs> I'd probably stab myself in the leg. Ooh, okay. So, something moved when Daddy pulled it. Dad, I want to get your other one. It, it'll, it'll come. You just gotta get up. Uh, I'm getting your other one. I'll probably gotta trim more of that, that vein, vein off. off. Yeah. Yeah, you'll have to shave it down. There you go. All right, so Corey just sunk. Well, we spent some time trying to get that area out, and it still hasn't come out, but. Those victory areas are tough, man. Yeah, now I'm tired. Now you're tired. And mine was, so I was 10, I was, I'm 11 yards off of my original sight tape, so I've got to fix that. Devin, when you shoot all your errors, do I have to pause it? Oh, you can, but I'm, I'm going to let the, I'm going to let the, let the good times roll on that thing. Oh, yeah, this is coming. So you're at 20 on yours? Yeah. That's different. Yeah, our range finders are different. My foot is hot. Daddy. Yes, sir. My foot is hot. Your shirt is hot? Yeah. It is hot, ain't it, buddy? Just, Devin, just tell me when to bother. Don't go like that here. I think I'm good. I just, oh, yeah, you're getting in there. Daddy has two more. Try to pull like them shots real slow and don't want to punch them or nothing. If you are punching them. Yeah. Oh yeah, now you're getting in there. All right, I've got my 20. You can stop it. Corey just smoked a good group. I did too. I think I shoot better without magnification. 100%. Go play with your car. Toy. Yeah. I don't have a toy, so I have a job to do. Right? Just back up. You might be jerking a little bit. Just take 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 some time. Take a deep breath. You're not in a hurry. You ain't got to get in a race for nothing. Just just take a deep breath. Relax. Settle in. Pop off a good shot. It'll be good. Okay.
pull that one. Oh, there you are. That was the inside. Dad out. has one more. Inside out. Can I pause it, Devin? Pause it. Hopefully we find this air. We are on aero recovery. That thing went on a full send. Did it go this far, Core? Do what? Oh, shoot. In the woods? We might find it. I'd be careful. I wouldn't go in there, youngin', so there's, there is poison oak. So you think it, it went on that far? Oh, yeah. Uh-oh. Ah, uh, let's wait. We're going to have to try to get that other area out of the wood now. Uh-oh. An arrow soldier is down. Corey, so let's give them a breakdown of what's going on. Uh, so far we're good on tuning. I still have to get side in. Yep. Yeah. So he's going to go home and get his 350 binds and shoot at home. Then... Being that he's a 28 inch draw, he's all right to shoot the 350 spines, even now the 70 pound bow. So as you see here, that's a 350 spine, absolute bullet hole. Now, shoot a three, uh, 300. So this is why I love Prime, because just about anything you put through it, once you tune it, It'll tune. Daddy, yes. Yeah. Yeah, Daddy. Oh, thank you. Oh. And and to, oh. and to think about it, you know, I don't know what the speed rating is between the the fives and the the threes. I could look and see. I'm not sure, but oh yeah, cobweb. Man, I'm good. One. <laughs> oh. But I think that they're um. I think that the files might be faster. I could be wrong though. Oh my god. So that's a 350 and a 300. So you can shoot them 300s, get more speed with a lighter arrow. And son, you will have a rocket ship. I was gonna see if I have a fat shaft over here we could pop through it just for fun. But I don't know if I have anything that's not destroyed. I used to keep uh, various flavors of arrows. That's too short. There's a shaft. I broke an arrow this morning. Cause I'm an idiot. I normally keep a fat shaft. So this weekend we'll be at Kiwi shooting. He'll be ready. Sorry we couldn't. Get Sorry we couldn't get you all sided in right now, but you still got some stuff to work through yep. at home with your uh, bow's tuned. Now you just need to side it in, but it's closer than it was. Yeah. And once you get those three, uh, them 350s through it at home, <clears throat> you'll be good. Yep. You'll be good. Shoot, yeah, man. Oh, and I'm shooting without a scope and shooting better. Yeah. Shooting better without an ang scope. I think that's something. All right, so Corey ran because he's going to go side his bow in at home with his other arrows. Um, he was running those TKOs, which shoot great out of my bow. They shot great out of his, too. But uh, he shot one through a two by four on accident and he bumped his. his thumb button and shot one in the woods so I was like you might want to shoot something a little bit cheaper for a little while till you get used to this thing <laughs> he's good so I've started over I, I've, I've started everything over um, I'm gonna keep my copper bow in there for or I call it the copper bow and I'm gonna shoot it magnified and everything and probably um, I got picked up by I remember the name of it. 
I'll have a whole video series on it soon though, but a company, an aerial company, I'll have uh, a little sponsorship going on. So I'll be ordering some of their airs soon. Well, right now I'm at 60. You can double check it for the rangefinder. 60. And um, for some reason, I shoot way better without magnification. Way better. I have less target panic, everything. Um, the bow, too, I had, I had the draw length set too short. So after working on Corey's yesterday, I was looking at the wrong number and I had mine set on number four, which is 29. Now I'm 29 and a half, 30 on PSC, like I said earlier. And now I feel good. There's a 60 yard bomb, no magnification. That's a good shot. I will have to get used to, I'm shooting at a tiny dot down there too. I'm shooting at a, uh, like the bird targets. What they call the birds? In field, it's called the bird target. And whenever I sight in, I always use the smallest dot down there that I can to sight in with. That first shot, I shanked it. I shot it low. Still might be punching just a hair, but I'm working on that. Right in the center. So the reason I know I started punching the trigger, for one, I was uncomfortable. For two, I was getting ready to go to tack. So we were shooting like 100, 120 yard, and I'd get back there and just panic, and I'd just start slapping that trigger, which is the worst thing to do, and it got me in that habit. So for one, I was fighting, I was uncomfortable, draw length was too short, and I was just panicking. I was panicking right there. Plus, I had this thing set all funny. It was all messed up. So now, it's right. Now we're right. Unmagnified, baby. And absolutely sinking them. <sighs> really makes me wonder why I do some of the things that I do. Hmm. Okay, I'm getting tired. I've shot all day. We'll go look at that group. I'm gonna wrap it up. I'm gonna go home and work on this video. Let's go look at that group. All right, so just so y'all see, this is a itty bitty, itty bitty, bitty 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 target at 60 yard and three shots. So if you're shooting in like the bow hunter rank or in the field league, this air would be out. But these four would still be in the black dot. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I might have just kicked one into the four. Well, let's see what size target this is. This is the hunter face. I want to say it's the birds. But for unmagnified, I'm shooting better without magnification. Listen to them neighbors. Boy, they are having a party down there. If you've been following my, my, uh, my last video, I've got some Hispanic neighbors. They're great. They're, they're peaceful. And I'm gonna tell you right now, you got an awesome concert out here when you're shooting. I hear the the tow tow. I hear all kind of good music. I want to get in there and drink Coronas with them or Modelo's. I need to go do. That. I need to just post up and be like, I'm here for two things: listening to good music and drinking some beers. Let's go. All right, guys. So I just want y'all to know I love all y'all. Make sure 
to like and subscribe. Don't give Corey too much hardship on his thumb punching. And guys, if you've never, a lot of people probably has never shot a thumb button before. This boy, he's never. He's learning and he's doing good. I punch it sometimes. We all make mistakes. We just got to work with them. Myself too. And um, we'll all be hammering before long. Y'all have a good one. See ya.